I'm Claire and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be testing out this old one-step Polaroid camera that's from the 80s slash 90s era and seeing if it still works. Now earlier today I ran to Target with my best friend Kaylee and I did buy some 600 film so let's put that in here and get to taking some pictures to see how it works and to see in my or for me, I mean, what the square film actually looks like, because I'm used to the Instax film that's like, you know, the picture's like that big, whereas this square film's gonna be like, pretty nice and big. So I'm really excited to see how this looks. So let's just get into it right now. Okay, so here is the film. I'm going to put it into my camera. I can get it open. That's fancy, it's like very gold foil, or gold foil, silver foily. There we go. This is a force to be reckoned with on it. the dark side that came out and now we should be ready to take some pictures I'm so excited wow this is working holy cow <laughs> I'm going to try to take a picture of Archie while he's like laying down like this so wait 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 wow Thing rolled out so fast. This is amazing. Woof! I am actually going to go outside because it's sunny out. I'm going to test out the um, exposure settings in it. And one thing to know with this um, type of film, the Polaroid 600 film, you need to give it like 15 minutes or something to fully develop. So that's what I'm letting these do afterwards. It's not like a minute like the Insex. So. Yes. <laughs> Sin, come here. Sin, come here. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Let's put this in a little bit of a darker setting. Come here, friend. Oh, no, you're not going to cooperate. I'm going to give you this. I don't even know if I got a good picture there. <laughs> Great. Guys, I just found this sticker on it. It's from June of 1986. So that's how old this camera is. It's 33 years old this year. And it still works just like a charm. This is awesome. They made these things to last. Just don't drop it. <laughs> For photo three, I'm gonna do something with this sign in the greenery. It's on a lower exposure setting. way too dark to sit down and talk about the camera and the photos like I wanted to do so I'm doing it today. And for the photos, the very first one I took of this Archie, that turned out adorable in my opinion. Um, I do have to learn how to use the exposure and shadow, that kind of stuff, all of that on this camera because it's different than what I'm used to but it still turned out really really good in my opinion. He's just so cute! <laughs> the second photo, you see the first blue lens flare up here. 
Um, that is something I'm gonna have to learn how to use too, since this is different than my Instax camera. This photo also turned out weird because my cat was being a doofus. She was sitting down perfectly fine. Took it and she ran, so. Mm -hmm. For the third one, I did turn down the exposure on the front of the camera, which is right here, this little switch. It's still in the lower exposure. I did turn that down because I knew it was lighter, lighter, brighter outside, but I still did get quite a good amount of detail. I got the um, uh, speed limit sign really well. And then just the background, the woods and everything, you can tell that it's leaves and green, it's just very dark still. So that's something I'll have to work with too, but it looks pretty cool in my opinion. <laughs> And for the very last photo, you can see another part of that blue lens flare like I was talking about before. I did have this on a lower exposure because it was still sunny outside whenever I took this picture of Wesley. But this one turned out really well too. I just need to learn how to work with the lens flare. It might be just having it on a lower exposure with this camera since it is 33 years old and it sat for a long time. I'll have to play around with it more and see. But overall, even with the lens flare, they do turn out pretty cool. I'm really happy with how all four photos t turned out. And I know that this is a shorter video overall. I only took four pictures with this camera, whereas with my Instax, I had taken 10 in other photo challenges and using the camera and stuff. But for Instax film, it's about like six bucks for 10 photos around here. Whereas with this film, it's about $20 for eight exposures. So I wanted to test out a little bit with this camera, with the film, but I didn't want to just have a big go at it with eight photos and use $20 worth of exposures, which is only eight exposures in one video. I will probably use the other four in a different video maybe, for some other stuff you know we'll see what happens down the road but i was really just trying to kind of save the film because this, that's a lot of money for only eight exposures and i am someone who loves to take pictures no matter if it's on a polaroid camera digital camera phone however you can take pictures i do love doing that and i don't like not taking a picture because the film's expensive but I just wanted to save it for whenever I have another photo challenge I do or if there is an actual photograph, photograph, an actual photograph I want to capture in the future besides just this little challenge of what I did. So that is why I only took four photos in this instead of going through all of the exposures and taking eight photos or eight exposures if you will and only ended up with four. I do love this camera. I love that it kind of fell into my lap, honestly. <laughs> we found it and it works really, really good. It honestly is like the new um, One Step Plus cameras that they make for the Polaroid that you can buy now, except you can go through your phone with that, um, which is really cool. I can link it's Theodore's um, channel down below if you want to see more on the One Step Plus cameras, which are the newer. They're not from the 80s, so it's gonna have a lot of different features to it. You can do double exposure on your phone. You can do a lot of things through your phone with that camera. There's a self timer and just all this stuff. So I can link those down below so you can check it out. But if you just want like a basic Polaroid camera without any of the technology stuff with it, you can find a Polaroid camera at like Goodwill or somewhere. It's just this basic one. Totally recommend it. Totally, totally recommend it. I know Goodwill has some in a few other places or if somebody just has it for free or if you happen to find it like in your house, which I know that's not always the case, but do give it a try. If you f happen to find one at your grandparents' house or something, use it. It is so much fun. And this is where I will call this end of the video because I know I've been talking a lot here. I will write Instagram right here and Facebook right here if you want to check out all of my stuff that I do outside of this channel. <laughs> 
uh, you can check out my vlog channel. I will also link that down below. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe. Not gonna pass.